<laughs> so I just get off the phone with my daughter. She did something silly and I told her I was disappointed in her. <laughs> and to a 12 year old, that's pretty rough, right? When your dad's disappointed in you. And she said, Dad, I'm sorry, I won't disappoint you again. And I'm like, oh, sweetheart, <laughs> you've got a life, a life of disappointments coming at me, believe me. And I got to thinking about myself and I got to thinking about, I wonder how many times I've disappointed people in my life, right? And I got to thinking about like, you know, as a husband, uh, an ex-husband now of 20 years, I wasn't the husband she wanted at the end. Uh, as a son, I wasn't the son my parents wanted in addiction. I was a disaster. Um, you know, as an employee sometimes, maybe my boss, I'm not the employee that my boss envisioned or whatever. So throughout my life, of course, you know, I, I, I've clearly been a disappointment to a lot of people. Not intentionally, but it happens. And I was thinking about, what about all the people that disappointed me in my life? People that I've held in this amazingly high regard that at some point, somehow, for some reason, ended up disappointing me. Again, whether intentional or not, that disappointment still hurts, doesn't change. And I was thinking, you know, sometimes for me, I put people in such a place and I put them so high, I put them so high next, I mean, up by the sun that, that their wings end up melting, right? Because they're actually just made of wax and their wax wings melt and they're not who you think they are or whatever. And so as I was thinking about all that, I wonder how many people can actually say that they've disappointed people in their lives and be okay with that. And not only that, I wonder how many of you can say that on Facebook. How many of you will post below this and actually tell me and tell the world some of your disappointing moments? Maybe some highlights. I'm just curious. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Cheers.